a couple who were deeply in love uh, and who desperately wanted a child for the longest time. Uh, but a child never came. Uh, they lived next door to a terrible witch. Uh, this witch spent much of her time cultivating an amazing garden, a garden that was filled with flowers and herbs. But most of all, the witch uh, poured her energy into growing the delicious and exotic herb known as Rapunzel. Now, Rapunzel is an actual vegetable uh, whose leaves resemble spinach and whose root is like a parsnip. And uh, Rapunzel uh, grew wild all over Europe uh, during the medieval period. Now, one day, the wife peered into the witch's garden and thought, Mmm, so fresh and green. Uh, that Rapunzel looks so tasty. I must eat some. Uh, several days went by, and the wife became seriously ill. I must make a meal of that delicious Rapunzel uh, in the witch's garden, uh, said the wife to her husband. Otherwise, I will surely die. That night, though he knew the risks... The husband climbed over the wall and into the witch's garden. Uh, the husband thought to himself, If my wife dies, I just couldn't go on. I must get some of that Rapunzel for her. The husband managed to escape with an armful of Rapunzel, and his wife immediately tossed it into a salad and quickly gobbled it down as fast as she could. Oh, my God, said the wife. This Rapunzel is so sweet and savory, I just can't get enough. Husband, go back into the witch's garden and get me some more. So the husband dared to sneak back into the witch's garden. But this time, when he tried to leave, he found himself staring straight into the face of the wicked witch. How dare you come into my garden and steal my Rapunzel? said the witch. For this you shall surely suffer. The husband prostrated himself before the wicked witch and begged, begged for his life. Oh, please, said the husband. I'm so sorry. My wife saw your Rapunzel from our window, and somehow she knew that she would die if she didn't eat some. Hmm. Well, in that case, said the witch, Take all the Rapunzel you like. I demand only one thing in return. Your first-born child. The husband, overcome by fear, readily agreed to the witch's demand. Now, within a year, the couple got their wish for a child, only to one day stand helplessly by as the witch claimed her price for the pleasures of her succulent Rapunzel. The witch grabbed the child from her mother's arms and held it high over her head and said, I think I'll name this child Rapunzel. Well, when Rapunzel reached the age of 12 years, she grew into the most beautiful child under the sun. The witch could not stand to look at her, so she shut her up into a lonely tower, which lay in a forest and had neither stairs nor a door. But at the top was a little window. This window was the only way in. Uh, when the witch wanted to go inside and gaze at Rapunzel, she placed herself beneath the window and cried out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me. Rapunzel had long, magnificent hair, fine as spun gold. And when she heard the voice of the witch, she unfastened her braided tresses, wound them round on the hook by the window above, and then the hair fell down, and the witch climbed up by it. As the years passed, Rapunzel had nothing to do but sing to herself, and one day the king's son happened to ride past the lonely tower, and he heard a song which was so enchanting that he stood still and listened. The king's son looked in vain for the door of the tower, but the singing had so deeply touched his heart that every day he went out into the forest and listened to it. One day when he was standing behind a tree, 
He saw the witch, and he heard her cried out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me. Then Rapunzel let down the braids of her hair, and the witch climbed up to her. If that is the only ladder by which one climbs the tower, said the king's son, then I must give it a try. When it began to grow dark, and the wicked witch left, the king's son cried out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Who could that be, thought Rapunzel. But soon the hair came down, and the king's son climbed up the tower. At first, Rapunzel was terribly frightened uh, when a man, a man, something that she had never, ever seen, came to her. Uh, but the king's son began to talk to her, telling Rapunzel that his heart had been so stirred by her singing that he, had for, uh, he was forced to see her. Rapunzel soon got over her fear. And the king's son visited her every night, professing her love for her and asking Rapunzel to be his wife. Rapunzel was still understandably naive, uh, having been kept prisoner in the Lonely Tower for many years. And she, well, she doesn't quite understand what sex is. Eventually, she asked the Wicked Witch, why her clothes had become so tight and why they did not fit her anymore. Wicked child, said the witch. I thought I had cut you off from the world, but you have deceived and betrayed me. In her anger, the witch clutched Rapunzel's beautiful tresses, wrapped them a few times round her left hand, seized a pair of scissors with her right hand, and snip, snip, snip. The lovely braids soon lay on the ground. The witch then banished poor Rapunzel to a desert wasteland, a place where she would live in misery forever. On the same day that she cast out Rapunzel, the wicked witch fastened the braids of hair which she had uh, cut off to the hook of the window. And when the king's son came and cried out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me, the witch let the hair down. The king's son then ascended to, uh, to the window at the top of the tower. But instead of finding his dearest Rapunzel, he found the wicked witch, who gazed at him uh, with venomous eyes. Aha! <laughs> she cried out mockingly. Rapunzel is lost to you forever and you will never see her again. The king's son was so distraught that he threw himself from the tower. A uh, thorn bush saved his life, but the thorns into which he fell pierced his eyes, blinding him. Now for years, uh, the king's son wandered aimlessly through the forest, eating nothing but roots and berries, and endlessly lamenting over and over the loss of his dear Rapunzel. Thus he roamed about in deepest misery, uh, but one day wandered into the wasteland where Rapunzel lived in abject poverty, lived in poverty with her twin children, the son and daughter of the blinded king's son. He heard a voice, and it seemed so familiar to him that he went towards it, and when he approached Rapunzel, he instantly knew, and she knew, that they had found each other. Her tears were so full of love that when they dropped into his eyes, the king's son, his sight was miraculously restored, and he could see again. He then led Rapunzel and their two children to his kingdom, where they were joyfully received and they lived their lives in happiness for many years afterwards, along with the twin children. With that thought, we're going to take another musical break. Uh, when we return, I'm going to recite the little...